I could be biased. I don't really like Vegas. I never really have a good time. I feel like I'm a minority there. I feel like everybody I know has a crazy story. Like somebody's coming back like, dude, last time I was in Vegas, I had a threesome with two Playboy centerfolds. I'm like, but you're my girlfriend. Why are you, <laughs> why are you talking like that? <laughs> it's like I, I, when I go to Vegas, I don't have the money to gamble or a big enough dick to make women forget about that. So <laughs> like Vegas is about fantasies, and you're not finding that here. You know, you don't hear a girl going back home like, ladies, listen up. I met this dude, video poker machines. He ordered me two free drinks, took me back to his room, and he had the tiny up there. <laughs> Writing home with those stories. It's like when I go to Vegas, I just get really, really dehydrated. That's all. I, that's all I ever accomplished. Like last time, case in point, last time I went, I uh, I show up. I got a mustache, slick back hair. I got a three-piece suit, pocket full of ecstasy. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking murder this town, right? <laughs> so I hit the club with my boys and I'm rolling. So I'm dancing horror. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lord. Just a sweaty mess in my head. I'm like, Usher, I'm gonna make fucking love in this club. <laughs> I didn't. What I did do was stay awake for 36 hours straight before a chubby chick said I looked like Mark Twain. <laughs> so I made out with her. What else am I gonna do, guys? I figured I can't be picky and at least she reads. <laughs> Is something nobody has ever said in their life. <laughs> I, uh, there's so many mirrors in here. I, uh, I don't think, I, I don't have enough money because I have a shitty job. I don't like my job. Is there anybody else here that has a shitty job? We already know you guys have perfect jobs. <laughs> just like, does anybody else ever sit at work and just like, just think about like 10 years ago where you wanted to be at this age and compare it to where you actually are? And then just weep uncontrollably. Because <laughs> you're just nowhere, you know, you're just nowhere near getting it. Like, I, I, work, I work as a production assistant, a PA on film and TV sets. And people who I talk to who don't work uh, in the business are always like, oh my god, it's so cool you get to work with celebrities. I'm like, oh great, because they're known for being really nice. <laughs> Fun. With your double mocha, triple cinnamon lattes with no frappuccinos. I don't even know what that is. It's like 80% of my day is just telling people to be quiet. That's what I, I shush adults for a living. All day. It's awful. Have any of you guys ever told a teamster to sneeze quieter? They don't, they don't like it. Shocker. It never goes over well. But it, it's the... I think it's the hours that are the worst part. I feel like PAs, we work horrible hours, like 80, 85 hours a week for very little money. I feel like, I feel like we might be the only group of people that work worse hours than Al-Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jihad's a full-time job, and I get that. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to hate something that much. But I'm sure they get to that point where they're like, guys, come on, it's just call it a day. My dogs are barking. <laughs> America's gonna be there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I want to get a new job, but I I don't know what I want to do. I still don't really like oh stand up comedy. That always goes over well, right? It's like you're a 12 year old, you say you want to be an astronaut, you're adorable. You're 25, you want to be a comic, get that shit. You're, you got to get your shit together. Right? <laughs> you know how many professional astronauts there are? Not that many. A lot of comics. <laughs> terrible, but I, <laughs> it's like I, I'm part of that generation of kids that was like, grew up just being told how special they were. Everything was like, you're just a wonderful little snowflake and anything's possible. You just, you just dream of what you want to do, put it on your vision board and you just go get it. <laughs> Ow, I don't, <laughs> I don't know the way to like re-rack your beer palm cups in college, but I didn't learn how to do that. They're just like, you can be anything you want, that's so much pressure. There's so many choices. It's like, it, it takes me 45 minutes to pick out a movie on Netflix, because I'm afraid of wasting the next two hours of my life. <laughs> Dark suspense? No, I kind of want a comedy suspense. I'm just, you, you're telling me I gotta pick out a career for the rest of my life? <laughs> Not gonna happen. 
What happened to, like, I kind of wish I was part of the, like, born in those days, it was like, hey, your dad's a blacksmith? <coughs> you're, you're probably going to be a blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what a blacksmith does, but I bet it beats shushing people. <laughs> I get really anxious when I think about the future, when I have to like seriously think about like life. I get just get I get so terrified. I start all these what ifs start happening, you know, like oh my god. What if I don't get like my dream job? What if what if I marry a girl who's super smart and funny but not that hot? Like, what if, what if I have a kid who doesn't grow up to be a lefty that throws in the high 90s? What about me? And then I realize, oh, I'm an asshole. Because those are stupid things to worry about. I'm an asshole. Like, for, for me to say I have fears and I have problems is just inconsiderate of the entire Middle East. <laughs> so you think you're out about that? Yeah. <laughs> you fight for democracy and a violent revolution against the government? Well, I gotta get a root canal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's dick. Cause really, what am I? Uh, what am I afraid of? Really, what am I like? I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of money and have to move back in with my mom. Ooh. <laughs> Fresh laundry and hot meals. <laughs> Suicide bombers? Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> California minimum wage and an apartment with dirty carpets? Not so much. Because <laughs> I forget sometimes like how mathematically lucky I really am. I'm like, I'm a healthy, white, American male. Like, I'm like, I'm born. You know what I mean? And if you deny it, you're only lying to yourself. <laughs> It's like I don't have problems, I have inconveniences, you know, like slow internet. That's not a that's not a problem. <laughs> it's a bummer. <laughs> Being born with AIDS? Yeah, I can see why you complain. Okay. So just, you know, I I like I'm up here, I'm telling jokes to you amazing people in Hollywood, California. It's it was 85 on Christmas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like life would be fucking perfect if it weren't for this goddamn traffic. Right? <laughs>